Greetings, everyone. Uh, this is Jerry Thomas. Uh, I am a friend of the WITS organization, a friend of Timothy Thrapp. He's asked me to uh, give you all a little testimonial, a uh, video audio testimonial. Uh, I would like to tell my story uh, because I think it's a little different than the other uh, interviews that have been on uh, the WITS website. Uh, I think my story is a little more unique, a little more interesting perhaps than some of the other people. So I'm just going to go ahead for the next few minutes and tell my story, uh, a little bit about who I am, how I found out about WITS and why I like to work with them and why I think more people should participate and help the, the WITS organization with their uh, energy projects and their uh, bringing this new energy to the world. So again, my name is Jerry Thomas, uh, JT for short. People know me as JT. Uh, the quick part of my story is I'm an electrical engineer with a degree in uh, electronics from Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. Um, I always had an interest in unusual uh, energy things, uh, fringe things they call it. Um, so I had a normal career in Silicon Valley, uh, worked for a number of uh, companies, National Semiconductor, uh, quite a number of companies as an electrical engineer. Uh, I invented some things on my own, sold them to the industry. Uh, so uh, I was very curious about inventions, a lot of things like that, especially unusual things. Uh, so over the course of time, I uh, would look into a lot of different uh, strange and unusual topics. Uh, you know, that had interesting energy aspects to them, such as time travel, UFOs, that sort of thing. Uh, so it took me quite a while, collected a lot of information over the years, and uh, actually started to invent things on my own, um, which uh, I was successful at in the early 93s, uh, 1993, 94. Uh, I invented an unusual energy device. Uh, and what this allowed me to do was have an understanding all of my own about strange and unusual energies. So when I did finally meet up with the WITS organization, Timothy Thrapp, uh, I already knew that these strange energies existed. Uh, so in this sense, I think I'm uniquely qualified to uh, have an understanding or uh, uniquely qualified to have some experience in this area. Uh, the types of things that I found on my own were similar things that uh, the WITS organization had discovered. And so uh, many people wonder how it is that uh, some of us are discovering these things. Um, we're, we're looking for things that are out of the box, things that are a little out of the normal, uh, which I certainly found, again, on my own, my own discoveries, which then when I met with the WITS people, uh, I was quite amazed that they also had uh, discovered and implemented many unusual energy devices, uh, of which I'll talk about a few right now. Uh, they invited me to stay with them uh, for a while to f have firsthand experience with their devices that powered facilities. Uh, there was an uh, energy device that ran an entire facility that I got to witness. Uh, I noticed that the power meter at that facility would register uh, zero, uh, zero flow of energy. It was, it was like solid. It, it was, it did, the meter failed to move. In fact, on numerous occasions, it would even go backwards, indicating that power was being put back into the system. I was very impressed by this. Um, and again, being an electrical engineer, uh, with some qualifications, uh, you know, I, uh, of course, uh, eliminated a lot of what people might call trickery or such things. Uh, it, it was the real deal. I want to point that out to everyone. Um, so I saw that facility running on this extraordinary energy. Uh, and, and I was there for quite some time, a couple months actually. Uh, and this was an unusual thing for the WITS group to invite somebody to have firsthand experience with that, which I did. So uh, in the labs, I was uh, able to witness firsthand a number of uh, self-running devices and a number of extraordinary energy devices. There was a water heater uh, that heated a gallon of water in about two minutes. Uh, rough engineering calculations indicated that you know there were thousands of watts going into that uh, device to heat the gallon of water in two minutes from about 100 degrees to about 200 degrees. Uh, and yet the device was running on a 9-volt battery. Uh, and, you know, many people ask about uh, 
strange wires or extra batteries, or they seem to think that microwave towers are blasting energies into these things. And, you know, I can honestly state that, that, that there was, n you know, no form of trickery that I could see or uh, determine in any way, shape, or form. Um, you know, many people out there uh, hear about these extraordinary energy, dev energy devices. I had heard about them. However, it was only with the WITS organization and Timothy Thrapp that I actually got to see these things firsthand. And the units were working so well, as I say, that uh, they were running their facilities uh, on these things. The electricity that they uh, had running the facilities, the heaters to heat their homes up on these extraordinary uh, heating devices. These were things they were using, um, which was quite extraordinary for me. Um, I was so impressed. And I know I'm talking quickly here. It's a big story, and I'm attempting to get it out to you all in a few minutes here uh, as, 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 uh, you know, something I would love to do for the WITS organization for Timothy Thrapp. Again, I was so impressed with everything that I saw with Mr. Thrapp uh, that I wrote a book called Free Energy 101. Uh, and in that book, I uh, talk about this character, Fred, who was involved with all these extraordinary inventions. And uh, at the time that I wrote that book, 2003, we were keeping his name quiet uh, because, you know, there, there were problems at those times. Uh, and, you know, times have changed. I now identify uh, Fred in the book as Timothy Thrapp. And uh, so I talk about him and many other people. Uh, if Fred was the only, oh, excuse me, if Timothy was the only one who had done these energies, I might understand why the uh, technical world, the scientific world, would be a little skeptical. However, uh, in the beginning of my story, I, I indicated to all of you out there that I found these extraordinary energies in my own research and had extraordinary experiences on my own with these inventions of my own uh, doings. And so I knew, un unlike many other engineers and scientists, I knew that this energy was real. Uh, and of course, many, many great uh, experimenters and scientists have found these things. Nikola Tesla, uh, Keeley, so forth and so on. Uh, a lot of this is yet to be taught in mainstream education and mainstream engineering. So a lot of you who are wondering why you have yet to hear of it, well, you know, these things are have been kept secret and out of the schools and out of out of engineering training. And so you can imagine how I felt as a real electrical engineer with a bachelor's degree in science from Cal Poly when I found these strange energies. Uh, it was uh, really amazing. So. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed little bits and pieces of my story here. I just wanted to spend a few minutes with you here to get this story out. Um, perhaps we'll do other interviews. Uh, I, I would really like to see people support the WITS organization in any way, shape th that they can. Uh, I have done so, and I will continue to do so. I have the privilege of working with Timothy quite a bit, um, 10 years plus. Again, I think... Um, I'm somewhat uniquely qualified. I have a certain amount of expertise in this area, which uh, Timothy has helped me to grow in. And I really would like to see more people help out with this, uh, with the WITS effort. Uh, it's one of the few legitimate efforts that I have found in the world that is worthy of my support, which I continue to give, and everyone else's support out there. I thank you all, uh, and I hope to talk to you all again soon.